hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to create sliding button animations in unity so let me play the game and see the animation first as you can see that we have a very nice animation of these buttons now uh, to do that uh, what we need to do is uh, in my hierarchy i have three buttons uh, number one is challenge th that one and then practice and then games so i have uh, i have created another empty game object called button holder you can uh, go to uh, create and uh, inside ui uh, simply create uh, any of these or simply uh, right click on your canvas and create empty now i have uh, named it to buttons holder and inside that button you can uh, put images or buttons like that and i have placed it right there now after uh, doing that what you can do is uh, rather than uh, creating animation for each of this button we can create one animation for that parent object and we can manipulate all these child objects inside a single animation now after uh, clicking that on buttons holder now uh, you can see that i have already created an animation for that and i have animator component so i am going to remove it and i am going to remove my slide animation and its animator controller so we are going to do it from scratch now after clicking that you will uh, inside your animation window you will have this button called create now click on the create button and create an animation called slide or name it whatever you want now after that what we can do is simply uh, click on this red button to uh, enable the recording now let's come to the first button now what you can do is you can go select this button in the hierarchy and uh, copy its component now click on the copy component and it will come uh, copy the all the values from this rec transform now now what we are going to do is by taking this move tool and inside your scene i am going to drag it outside of the screen now you can see that we have a keyframe key right here now after 20 frames let's do 20 now after 20 frames i am going to again click on this gear icon and click on the paste component values now you can see that it has uh, uh, replaced the uh, values with its initial values now if we go back you can see that we have a very nice sliding animation now let's come to the second button and we are going to again copy the component now go back to the first frame and we also want to hide the practice button at the start so we are going to drag it outside of the screen now the first animation is about 20 frames long now we are going to go to 40 frames so just write 40 in here and we will move to 40 frames now again by selecting this second button go to the uh, the gear icon and paste the component values right here now if i slide you can notice that we have a sliding animation for both of these buttons now similarly uh, go to the third button copy the component then go back drag it outside of the screen and let's go to our last frame which is 60 and make sure that this button is selected and paste the component values now after that disable the recording and hit ctrl s to save this animation now if i play this animation you can notice that we have a sliding animation and if i play the game
it is going to play the animation repeatedly so uh, to remove this repetition we can select our animation in the assets folder and make sure that loop time is unchecked now play the game and now our animation will play only once now you can add more components inside that uh, buttons holder object and you can manipulate them and in your single animation so that's it for this video if you like the video please hit the like button and if you have any problems you can ask me in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet make sure that you hit the subscribe button